2010 was a very um, hectic year for all telecom companies. I think it was um, a challenging one. It is an admission of the difficult situation facing Kenya's internet service providers. Just two years ago, Access Kenya opted to invest heavily in a metropolitan fiber optic network and acquired several smaller players to boost its reach and pop up revenues. The company was hoping to cash in on the landing of the fiber optic network, but the game plan changed with other operators like Safaricom, KDN and Wananchi Online quickly venturing into the market. Before you can fight a war, you need to have the army and the soldiers. Now, um, the, the GSM companies getting into data, I think they're just learning about data right now. So it will take them some time before they start fighting real wars. The increased competition has put to test Access Kenya's claim to the tag of Kenya's biggest internet service provider. After posting a loss of close to 8 million shillings last year, in trading results released last week, forcing it to change tact. As you grow, you get to a point where you need to think about restructuring in terms of how do you get your operational efficiencies back. Senanu confirmed to Citizen TV that the company has already successfully negotiated the cost of access with its fiber optic service providers as it seeks to cut costs and prop up revenues again. This is one of the strategies the company will be employing as it seeks to bounce back to take on its competitors who are also upping their game. Big boys are good for the mass market. When you come to the niche market, you need somebody who is a niche player. Access Kenya's share hit an all-time low of 7 shillings and 10 cents during early trading today before bouncing back slightly to close at 7 shillings and 35 cents as investors reacted to news of the unsatisfactory trading results. The share, which was listed at an offer price of 10 shillings in April 2007, at one time traded at 23 shillings and 50 cents. For Citizen Business, I am Tony Timase.